Well, the balance of power in Congress is still up in the air. We may not know who controls mm -hmm. the Senate until after Georgia's Senate runoff next month. And in the House, three local races could determine who takes the majority. Right now, Republicans have the lead with 213 seats. 218 is the magic number to claim a victory. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom White shows us the districts that just may tip the balance of power. I mean, if we got the results right away, it'd be boring, right? I, I would be no <laughs> reason for me. <laughs> no, so, it would be. I mean, so let's just, let's string it out. More drama. Draw it More, out. There we go. All right, so the margins in these races are so small. Just a few thousand votes or less. The winners in these districts, as Patton Juan said, could tip the balance of power in Washington. The battle for Congress could be decided in Southern California. A key race, Congresswoman Katie Porter's seat deep in Orange County. Porter famous for using her whiteboard to grill corporate CEOs. She's locked in an unexpectedly tight race with Republican Scott Baugh, a Huntington Beach attorney and former assemblyman. As of Thursday night, Porter held a lead of about 3,000 votes. Porter remains optimistic. I think we always knew this was going to be a close election. Um, first, I just think as a Democrat in Orange County, in the past few cycles and probably in the next few, there's going to be some close races. And also, I think any time that you're trying to meet hundreds of thousands of new voters in relatively short time frame because of the redistricting, it's a big lift. As Professor of Politics Fernando Guerra explains, Orange County was not an easy place for Democrats on Election Day. That's a very conservative district. Uh, if you took a look at that district and took Katie Porter out, I cannot imagine a Democrat winning. We talked about a red wave nationally that did not materialize. A red wave totally materialized in Orange County. Uh, if you take a look, it was the only Southern California County that Newsom lost. Another tight race, the 41st district held by Republican Ken Calvert up against Democrat Will Rollins. It's an Inland Empire district that now includes Palm Springs. Just over a thousand votes separates the two. Rollins optimistic he has the votes. We feel great about where we are. Um, we've got an even uh, split right now. And what the registrar has told us is that that is all of the in-person election counts. So, um, you know, the, the ex we expect that the remaining of those mail-in ballots are going to break for us. Congressman Calvert released a statement saying he expected his lead to grow as more votes are counted and said he believed he will ultimately prevail. Further south in Orange County, there's Democrat Mike Levin trying to hold his seat against former San Juan Capistrano Mayor Brian Marriott. The district spans from South Orange County into North San Diego County. Levin holding a lead of just about 3,000 votes. Four years ago, we were talking about how all of the congressional districts had become uh, Democratic. Uh, and now you can and actually re completely reverse that if, in fact, uh, Porter and Levin were to lose. Although I don't think they will. I think they'll be able to hang on. But very close and way too close to call. We also reached out to Porter's opponent, Scott Bob, but did not hear back. Meanwhile, of course, we are keeping close tabs on all of these results. Juan, back to you. We know you are, Tom. All right, thanks so much. And for the latest vote count on all the races, you can find up-to-the-date results on KCAL9.com.